The audio you're about to hear was recorded in Anchor. Learn more at anchor.fm. Welcome back to the channel, guys. My name is Viking Size Gamer, and we're back with another Viking Size podcast for the WWE 2K game series. Yesterday was another awesome day. It was the third day of the roster reveal, and you were all probably just as excited as I was because there were some new names in there, some names that we haven't seen in the games yet. Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa have made it into the game. TM61 have made it into the game. Those brilliant, well, those names are absolutely brilliant. I'm extremely happy with those, but also, Roddy Strong made it into the game, not being DLC. What's that all about? It seems to me like they're going to have the most up-to-date product version they've had in years, because normally the cutoff is a lot earlier, but there's a screenshot that may have shocked you as much as it shocked me, and that was Finn Balor's Demon version was the one from the SummerSlam we just had. It had... It had the, the, the long thing, like, I don't know what it was, uh, I, I don't know, it was a bit of cloth that was basically wrapped around his, his waist, it had that on him. It was the SummerSlam version, and I don't know about you guys, but seriously, that's, that's awesome. Does that mean we're going to get a lot of new attires put in there, they're going to try and get them as up to date as possible? I'm really hoping so, and hopefully that also means that it's going to be part of WWE 2K18, that they're going to have all these new themes in. Of course, as you probably noticed, in the last few weeks, they have been updating their themes ridiculously. Now, I don't know about you, but I feel sorry for 2K. These guys are always constantly battling to try and get you out the most up-to-date products that they currently have in the WWE. But the WWE just keep changing things. I'd love to be in a product meeting with them, but they're just like, hey, guys, um, we really want to get out the latest WWE game and be the latest, most up-to-date product we got. Could you please not change people's themes? Just, just until the game comes out, maybe. At least. I... <laughs> and I it's just, it's not going to go well for anybody, is it? Emma's theme changed. Um, they finally gotten rid of that placeholder theme for... Uh, Jason Jordan, because it, Jason Jordan's theme just sounded like an 8-bit soundtrack from, from a Mega Drive or something. It was terrible. But now, obviously, they've got the nice hip-hop beat to it and everything like that. Baron Corbin's had his theme changed. They've added Burn It Down to Seth Rollins. And there's a lot of things that have been changed. And I really, really hope that this is something that they're going to include in the game. I mean, if they can change the model for Finn Balor to his latest one from SummerSlam that has literally just passed. And they've already done that. Who's to say that they can't just change an audio file? I really hope they do. I really hope they do. I mean, there are obviously going to be some limitations on what they can do for the game, but we're off to a good start already, which is absolutely fantastic, in my opinion. I don't know about you guys, but those screenshots look absolutely amazing. Uh, Cedric Alexander looked great. Uh, Neville was probably my favourite photo and screenshot from the screenshots that were released. That Cruiserweight Championship is looking awesome in-game. I'm incredibly impressed. That was that was fantastic. Um, as Carmella, she's looking great in the game as well. Um, TJP, dabbing. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm over the dabs. I don't know about you, but, but FTD. That's, that's what I'm saying now. FTD. Because you can't say FDR because that's, no, cease and desist. So, um, obviously I did put out a poll on my Twitter. If you haven't checked out my Twitter, it's Viking Size Gamer on Twitter. You can check that out there. And I put out a poll basically asking you what your first created wrestler would be that you import in the game or create or download. Um, I did put the options on there, whether it be Adam Cole, Kenny Omega. Um, I, I put out options. I can't remember all of them now, but I did put them out there. And I wanted you guys to vote, so go and check out that poll on my Twitter. Right now, Adam Cole is winning. That's that's pretty obvious right now that he is definitely in the lead and I think that's because he's more than likely not going to make it into the game so this is going to be interesting I would like to see some decent calls of uh, Adam Cole, Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish that would be great because they are the well, I suppose the ROH alumni that are going to be in the game aren't they? Well they're not going to be in the game 
but they're going to be in NXT from now on in the new era for NXT. So, with that in mind, it looks to me like uh, they're going to be the people that people are going to be wanting to be downloading in Create a Wrestler or Create a Superstar, whichever you want to call it, their cause. CAWs, that's, that's just what they are. They have been for years. They just recently started calling them superstars in the last few years, so... I'm, I'm excited to see what you guys think, or what you would like to see, or who you're gonna download, in the Create Community downloads. It's, it's gonna be awesome this year. And you can't say that the graphics don't look absolutely phenomenal, because they really, really do. Um, I, I'm super impressed with everything that I've seen so far. The entrances looked absolutely fantastic. AOP, they look brilliant. It was absolutely fantastic to see them come out um, in, in their entrance. I thought that was a brilliant entrance as well. Uh, Finn Balor's normal entrance, as a lot of you have probably seen already now, the, uh, the referee in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, just as it comes on, he, he's kind of deciding whether he wants to sit in the crowd or whether he wants to actually be ringside. He doesn't quite know, so he's just sort of leaning and having half a lay down. Um, I'm guessing that's something they're going to address before they let it happen. So, little things like this they got to catch. But this is obviously what YouTubers like us um, and Topeats Guy and people like that, you know, they're out there to catch these sort of things. And the developers are going to go, whoops, what did we do? So, I am I was laughing about that. That was great. But other than that, his entrance looked fantastic, especially with the crowd involvement. I was very impressed with it. The crowd, once again, very happy. They don't look and act like potatoes. It looks like they actually interact uh, with, with the superstars themselves. I'm really looking forward to seeing a bit more gameplay yet, though. So hopefully with the last week being next week, and we'll get, obviously, another, hopefully, 40, maybe around 40, maybe a few more um, superstars being announced. There is a plane going overhead where I am. That's really inconvenient for this. Um, but I'm hoping that they'll actually get some more superstars announced uh, that we haven't seen. The Iconic Duo haven't been announced yet. Alistair Black hasn't been announced yet. If he makes it in, then that's great. Drew McIntyre hasn't been announced yet. If he makes it in, that's great. I'm hoping they'll have some surprises for us. So far, um, so good. So it's just a few people in there that we expected, but it's nice to see them. So it's obviously, as I said, it's great to see DIY in there. Expected them, but great to see them in there. TM61 didn't expect them good to see them in there Roddy Strong didn't expect to see him in there good that he's in very happy that he's in so really it's just a case of who's left we're, we're just trying to round it down now and get the rest of the people out that we know is coming out uh, and it, it's just a, it's just a waiting game now but hopefully once week four is over that's when the gameplay is going to start coming out. That's when we're going to get the mode trailers. We're going to get the My Career trailer. We're going to get Road to Glory trailer. We're going to have things explaining the new gameplay coming out. It's it's going to get busy these next couple of weeks. Um, we are marking basically up to uh, around the 40-day mark now for the early release of the Deluxe Edition, which comes out on Friday the 13th of October. Um, I am hopefully going to be doing a live stream at midnight in British time to actually play that, which means that I will probably have the game before the US guys. Yeah, because we're like six hours ahead minimum. So, um, although you'll see gameplay from everybody else, I hope you guys will join me on my channel on YouTube. So that's YouTube forward slash Viking Size Gamer. And hopefully you'll be able to watch a live stream from midnight so you can see a little bit of career mode on there and see what that looks like. I'm very excited to play the game. I'm sure you guys are incredibly excited to play the game as well. As you've probably seen as well, the May Young Classic is finally out. Um, it's, it's absolutely fantastic. And I think that it's pushed itself up. Um, and it, really, that tournament is just going to be an absolute belter. I'm sure you guys already know. Some of you have probably already watched it and thought it's absolutely fantastic. Same as me. I'm very impressed and I'm very proud of the ladies that have actually gone on to there and, and really represented because, the, you know, the, there is a new generation of women and, you know, it's these women actually, they're, they're athletes, they're fantastic at what they do and it's just great to see them in action performing better than a lot of the male superstars, to be fair. You've got to be honest with these things. I mean, I saw Candice LeRae live and she was absolutely 
fantastic then against Tyler Bate and the rest of British Strong Style. Now, I have said as well um, that as much as I am absolutely loving YouTube at the moment, I'm finding it incredibly hard to do a lot of recording videos, which is why you are getting this podcast at the moment as well. So I didn't want to disappoint you guys. There have been some teething issues with uploading the podcast to YouTube afterwards. It turns out that once you record an anchor, they have to stay on anchor for 24 hours and then you can export them. So basically anchor gets the exclusive and then they go on YouTube, which is fine by me. I don't mind doing that because it gives me the opportunity to you guys to listen to the anchor page and then you can come over and you can watch it on YouTube. There'll be a little bit of video with it hopefully. So if not, I'll just check a WWE 2K18 logo on there and you can just listen to what's been going on in WWE 2K18. Uh, this is obviously slightly longer because I'm sure some of you guys, uh, I did ask you on Twitter, once again, at Gamer on Twitter, if you want to follow me on there. And some of you said that you don't mind, and some of you said that you would prefer it a bit longer, the podcast. So I'm happy to do either way for you guys. It doesn't really bother me. Um, I am free to record for up to 45 minutes, really. I'm not going to do that long today. Um, cause I'm just, I'm still testing the waters with you guys. So we'll see how it goes. I'm always open to feedback. Just let me know what you guys think, what you guys want me to do. And I will be there and you can tell me and I'm happy to do that. So other than that, I did post on Twitter as well, but I had a little project in mind. Um, that's hopefully if I can get them on board, going to involve a few YouTubers. So if you are one of the wrestling YouTubers in the WWE 2K18 community or the 2K community or whatever you'd like to do, there, there's going to be a few things that I want to test out with you guys. Um, I want to test the waters, I want to see what it's like because a lot of people um, that I have noticed on YouTube, I, I don't know about you, but I, I consider myself not doing too bad on YouTube considering I only started really this in, in March. Um, that's, that's a relatively short time to get 2,200 subscribers. And I haven't posted that much, um, in the last few weeks, really, because, uh, well, life, new job, um, baby, wife, it's, it's all sort of climbed on top of me at the moment. So, but the new projects that I'm really looking at are, are going to involve, hopefully, some of you other WWE YouTubers that I wouldn't mind getting involved and maybe giving you a helping hand and a platform put yourselves out there and if not maybe just help you guys build yourselves up and maybe give you some tips on what I did to, to sort of start off and give myself a bit of a running start maybe I just got lucky but it's but it might be it might be worth just listening and and seeing what you guys think um, and you could take some of the things that I did I can only tell you what I did because genuinely I have no idea what I did to get this big this fast I appreciate some of the guys on here have been working their asses off for absolutely years um, especially like Hayden Fox uh, Town Nation he's been working at this for years um, and he's doing so well um, and, and you know and then you've got people like Royal Boss I don't know if you're listening to this Royal Boss but if you are heads up peace out um, and you know it's just I, I, I love these guys because the thing is, is that when you're starting out as a WWE YouTuber, especially with the WWE games, it's it's a big community, but it's a small community at the same time. Um, it's it's inclusive, but it's not all inclusive. So there are obviously certain sections. I mean, obviously, when you're starting out, nobody's going to take you seriously. Nobody's they just expect you're one of these one-hit wonders, flash in the pan kind of guys, and nobody follows you, nobody cares because you haven't built up a reputation. That I, luckily enough, I've built up a reputation to a point now where. WWE Games follows me, I follow them, um, which is great for me, uh, Macho T follows me, Smack Talks follows me, Does this, he follows me, I've, I've got, I've, I'm, I think, I think, <laughs> don't quote me on this, I think that I have the respect of some of the guys that have been there for such a long time, and I'm really thankful for that, because that I, I'm, I'm really happy that I can get this sort of um, attention from my peers, not attention really, but just just the fact that they, they see me on their level, which is nice, you know, because when, as I said, when you're first dying out, you know, everybody's like, this guy isn't going to last, I'm not going to bother. But I've been around for a little while now, since March, and I built up quite a following, and if I did have more time, I'm sure it would be going a lot better than it is at the moment, because um, subs have obviously slowed down, where I haven't been having as many 
videos coming out, but that's just life, really, isn't it? It's not a lot I can do. Hmm. So, I, uh, as I said, I've got some projects coming out that hopefully um, we're going to be looking at. Obviously, 2K18, my career, hopefully I can step on that. I'm looking to get that as much as possible. Um, it may be live streams. Um, it may be recording. Uh, I, I'm not 100% sure yet. As I said, I'm having to work out um, what's going on with everything that's been going on. A lot of family stuff, new job, a lot of training, lots taken at the moment, constantly exhausted, um, especially with the baby as well. It's all hands on deck. So this has taken a little bit of a backseat. But as I said, this is why I'm doing these podcasts so I can still talk to you guys, tell you what's going on, uh, tell you my opinions, um, and just generally, it, it's great to just, you know, obviously get out there with the community and, and get in contact with you guys. So, if you are a WWE YouTuber and, you know, you're, you want to help uh, with the project or you're interested, then please get in contact with me on Twitter, send me a DM. My DMs are open. Um, I'm not big enough to close off my DMs. That's just... That's how it is. So I'm, I wouldn't care anyway. Send me a DM. I usually do reply back as quickly as possible. Sometimes I'm completely busy and just don't have time. Don't take it as a mark of disrespect. It is literally just because I am absolutely so busy. It's, uh, it's unreal. So, but the great news is that these projects, some of them are, some of them hopefully you're going to like, some of them you may not be interested in, but it's just worth pointing out some of the things that are going to be out there. Um, other than that, uh, you know, 2K18, um, we're just waiting on stuff now. We're, we're still, it feels a bit lackluster. Um, I really like the whole last year where they had Suplex City and you had to pick people out. I thought that was pretty cool the way they did that last year. Um, this year it's just people coming out and announcing it and, and showing a few screenshots and stuff like that. It kind of feels like, mm, meh, but at the same time, I'm kind of hoping that the whole marketing thing is taking a back seat because they've been updating so much like I said Finn Balor's and his latest kit from SummerSlam um, you know and I'm really hoping that it's because they're putting all this effort in to the latest one and I'm really super impressed with everything that I've seen so far I just want to see some gameplay trailers some mode trailers I want to see everything starting to come together now um, I don't know about you guys but I'm excited for the hype just for the main menu it sounds awesome, so uh, <laughs> I just want to get my hands on the game, really. I couldn't attend I-61, uh, Hayden Fox did, but he didn't make it to WWE 2K18. Super Zuma God, um, he obviously was on the game stage playing the game. Uh, yeah, I just, I've, I haven't really had any luck getting my hands on it, and I, I doubt I will. Um, not this year, I just don't think I'm big enough to have that sort of impact. 2,000 people? Come on. The subs, the subs aren't large enough for anything like that yet. But as I said, this is a, it's a year on year thing. And this for me right now is a hobby. You know, I've got a family to support. Um, and, and really the full time job obviously is gonna come first. So this is a career that I've got, you know, and, and what I'm doing right now with you guys is my hobby, but it's my hobby that I incredibly enjoy. Especially as I get into interact with you guys as well. So. Hopefully, this will all turn out absolutely fine, um, and things will move forward the way that we want it to. I'm I'm really excited for what this game is going to hold. I'm really excited for the future as well. I don't know about you guys, but you tell me if you do. Follow me on Twitter, message me on there, put it in the comments if you're watching this on YouTube because I don't know which one you're doing. Um, who is it you want to see? Who is it you're missing? What entrance do you want to see next week? Tell me, let me know down in the comments or message me on Twitter. Tell me what you want to see on there. Uh, um, you know, I really would like to see Batista's entrance next week. I think that would be fantastic. Or Demon Balor. Um, just because I want to see the Pyros now. I'm really interested in seeing the Pyros on the game. Because if everything else has been updated, then I'm really hoping the Pyros have as well, and they should look awesome. So that'd be that'd be pretty damn cool. I'm looking forward to it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at Viking Size Gamer. Get on YouTube, YouTube.com/forward/slash Viking Size Gamer. Other than that, 
Thanks for listening, guys. Catch you later. The audio you just heard was recorded in Anchor. Learn more at anchor.fm. Anchor.fm. Anchor.fm.